Hi, it's Mike with AskATractorMike.com. If you're shopping for a tractor, or if you own a tractor and it doesn't seem stable on slopes, or it won't pick up as much as you think it should, the problem may be ballast. And that's our topic today. I'm going to tell you about Bio Ballast, a product you may not have heard of that will help you get the proper weight in your tractor to keep you safe and make you more productive. Let's go in and get started. Today we're going to be talking about tire ballast and I'm speaking with William who's an expert on the subject. And uh, William, first thing I want to talk about today, farmers all know that they need some kind of ballast either on their wheels or in their tires for traction in the field. But a lot of folks that watch my channel go through the, the tractor buying process and the salesperson doesn't even bring up ballast. And I think a lot of times as a salesperson, I've been on that other side, when you start talking about you need to buy this for your tractor, uh, it's like a, a used car or a new car salesman saying you need to buy the undercoating and all that. It, it sounds like you're trying to value add them up and get more money out of them. So a lot of them don't mention it. But if I'm buying a small tractor, even the smallest of tractors, and I'm gonna use the front end loader, and I, or I'm on hills, how important is ballast? It's extremely important if for a safety factor and efficiency. If you don't have proper ballasting on your tractor, you could upset that tractor very easily. And this is something that cannot be overlooked, should never be overlooked. So please don't think that they're just trying to upsell you. It can also be efficiencies if you're trying to pull or push loads with your tractor. You can save a few bucks up front, but in the long run, the safety and efficiency of that tractor is cut. You sell a product that goes in tires that we're going to talk about here in just a minute. Traditionally, if you want to put ballast on a tractor, you either have to put wheel weights on the rims, and on some of these small tractors there's no holes for it, or you put fluid in the tires. And let's talk about what's traditionally been available out there and the advantages and disadvantages of both the wheel weights and the, and the fluid. There, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. The advantage of liquid is you're putting the weight on the ground. So your lower center of gravity, and in some instances you can actually put more weight in the tire with liquid than you can with steel on the axle. What's been used in the past has been a little of everything, unfortunately. Uh, we were in the Midwest, so calcium chloride. Still used today, but we tended to get away from it because of the corrosion factor and the toxicity in the field. Yeah, and let's talk calcium chloride. Uh, if you've not been around it, you know, it'll eat that rim out eventually. It will. It's fine inside the tube, but once it gets loose, most repairmen don't have a way to really clean that up in the field, and from that point on, that wheel's in danger. And we've all seen the old tractors sitting there rotting. We've seen windshield washer fluid, methanol. All those products were never designed to be around agricultural products and animals. And unfortunately, there's still a lot of that out there. And a lot of those products are less than water weight. We've even seen water down south. And when that water comes north in the wintertime, that's a whole other story. Let's talk about the, uh, the antifreeze type products. Uh, they're, they're, if an animal, if, if it leaks out and an animal drinks it, that, that's... They're, some of those products are highly toxic. They are highly toxic. Then you get into the products that claim to be uh, environmentally friendly. You get into the RV antifreezes, and if you look at the jug, they're actually not non-toxic. But they're also less weight than water, a lot of them are. And this is also something, if you have a catastrophic failure in your garden or your farm plot or your feed yard, this is not something you want your animals eating, and it can happen quite easily. And just for a few dollars more, you can get a product you don't have to worry about that's USDA biocertified. Let's talk about methanol for a minute. They say it's safe for the environment and non-toxic. I'm sorry, but look at that label. There's skull and crossbones and a flammable sticker. You add it to water, it's still poison. And you can keep adding water to it. The real story is it's less than water weight when it's done. And there's still some toxicity to it. You're still decreasing what could be an efficiency to your tractor and safety to your tractor by decreasing the weight that you could actually be putting in there. The first product I heard of that was a natural product to put in tires was beet juice. And beet juice works, it's a, it's yep. a natural product, it has a couple of limitations. Number one, it's pretty messy, and number two, it's not available everywhere. If you get further away from sugar beet production, it's hard to find. And I've talked about it on my channel before, and, and that's an issue. A lot of people write in and say, we can't find it. 
and, uh, and, and a lot of the reason they can't find it is because tire dealers don't like to mess with it because it's so messy. You, want it, to you know, it was the first environmental product. And like a lot of first generation products, it had issues. It doesn't mix with other products. That's a problem. And that has been a problem with tire dealers all along. If they have calcium, if they run into calcium with that, it doesn't mix. Your product is called BioBallast. And, and I want to be totally transparent here. This is, this is a paid endorsement, right. but it's, it's something that my viewers need to know about because I think it solves a lot of the problems that beet juice had. So tell us today about BioBallast, what it is, and, and where you can get it. Well, it is USD bio certified, which means 100% organic. It's very clean, it's open water cleanup. Animals will not be hurt by it, plants will not be hurt by it and it's a soap and water cleanup. It remains very flowable, down to that minus 30, it'll start crystallizing a little bit, but again, it's a non-toxic product. If it gets loose in grandma's garden, her garden is still in great shape, the plants are not hurt. You can get it pretty much across the United States. You can call into our line. Uh, we have internet, biotechservices.com or bioballast.com and we can hook you up with a network of dealers. And in Canada, uh, Boss Lubricants will also have it. One of the things I find with a lot of tire dealers, the first question is, does, it, does your product mix with everything else? And it does. So if they go on a tire repair, they don't have to have two different tanks. They don't have to worry about, do I need to flush my tanks, my pumps, those kind of issues. Does it foam? No, I don't foam. Tell us what BioBallast is made out of. Well, there are some proprietary products that we're not going to release, but it's made out of the grain that the farmers are growing. So, you know, it's farmers producing products that go right into the tires. It's not corrosive to mild steel. We're not a problem there at all. We don't hurt the tires. In fact, it'll keep the tires and the seals in excellent condition. It'll outlast the tires themselves. Here in the Midwest, where you're from, Mike, it's made out of the grain around where we're sitting right now in Missouri. Weight-wise, how does it compare? Weight-wise, we're 9.5 pounds per gallon, so water's 8.32. So we're right up in that range, and we're a manufactured product, we're not a byproduct. That distinguishes us a lot from other products. A byproduct, you will have very great comparisons. They'll say we're 11 to 9 pounds per gallon. How do you actually scale out a tractor that way? How do you make that efficiently if you don't know exactly what it is? Because there's different products, different days. So a manufactured product or a byproduct. I know I'm going to get a question about tubes. Tubes, no tubes, does it matter? Doesn't need to have tubes. It can go directly in the tire against the steel wheel. We're fine with that. And, and your dealer network is expanding. All the time. And, and if somebody's watching this, it's a tire dealer somewhere or a, an equipment dealer yeah. somewhere, you'd love to talk to them. Yep, just give us a holler and we can set you up if that's your need to be. We can do that. We'll talk to you and let you know what we can do. We'd love to work with them. All right, thank you, William. If you're buying a tractor and you need ballast, you need to check out Bio Ballast. And if your local dealer or tire place doesn't handle it, ask them about it. It might be something they want to look at. Thanks for watching.